man, what a great show so far. Do you think, Chris? Love it. Man. Great show. Matt Wyman, the inked out buzz block with J.R. Gordon from MMABuzz.com. And right now, we have Ryan Martinez. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? What's cracking, man? It's nothing but knuckles, buddy. Nothing but knuckles. <laughs> now, yeah, Ryan, <laughs> you're coming off of a win against uh, Brandon uh, Idris, right, over at Ring of Fire 41? Yes, sir. And that guillotine that was, deep. was one of the that smoothest walk-through guillotines that I've ever seen from a heavyweight. <laughs> wow, why are you going to disrespect him at the end there? That was yeah. one of the smoothest I've ever seen. Poor heavy. Right on, man. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. My Give bad. some, take some away. I know. That's just how I roll. You got to keep people honest. <laughs> so, Ryan, you're going into a fight against uh, Mark Alice here on November 1st, or November 5th, I'm sorry, in the Pro Elite Big Gun Show. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Run, they Ryan. Are they Run. still in your car? Yeah, they're trying to. <laughs> Duck and cover, bro. Duck and cover. I know. I would never try to steal Ryan Martinez's car. Uh, I wouldn't either. How, how I'd, you, I'd let him steal mine, though. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Ryan? You got two automobiles over here just waiting for you. You just got to put their name on your shorts next fight. <laughs> Sign the sleeve. Sign the sleeve. <laughs> so, get with Ricky and Phenom. Get him going. Yeah. <laughs> so November 5th, Pro Elite Big Gun. You got uh, you got Mark Alice, huh? Yeah, I got him first round, man. Now, you, you look at Mark Alice. He's 1-0. You think just by the record alone you're going to be able to walk through this fight, but he's a strong wrestler, a 2009 uh, NCAA Division One heavyweight champion. I mean, there's no slouch. But yeah, how sure. how serious? I mean, you take every fight seriously, but is this? Are you looking at this fight as this, as it's the most important fight of your career? I'm I'm looking at it as a a big step in my career. You know, uh, uh, his wrestling, you know, has has some issues with it. Um, I watched his first fight. He definitely has some holes in his game. But, uh, you know, I if I wouldn't have gotten in trouble, you know, I, I could have been an NCAA Division One champion, you know, maybe a couple years in a row. I know a couple guys that I had beat, you know, throughout junior nationals and cadets. They ended up wrestling for the Olympics and stuff. So it's just, you know, it's just he, he got to accomplish something I didn't, and that's how I see it. You know, he's probably – there ain't no 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 re records he can reference me to as far as wrestling goes, you know, past years 2000 because, you know, I was in trouble for, <laughs> for about eight years, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we won't talk about the trouble part. I mean, let's just say you like grapes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Ryan, again, you're a, a well-rounded fighter. I mean, your power is phenomenal. I mean, obviously your submission is, is fantastic. Do you think that this is a uh, mismatch of some type? I mean, Jay, Jay Merck and myself and Chris Holland over here were kind of talking about the heavyweight division and, and how it always seems that there's a mismatch of some type. This is a situation where if you look just at the record, yeah, it's a mismatch. But do you look at it as if it's some type of a mismatch in your favor? No, nah, um, they're looking at this guy as the anchor of the heavyweight division in Pro Elite as far as the tournament goes. They're expecting this guy to win it, which, you know, I – it, it really don't matter to me. The the thing the thing that that's different between me and any opponent that he's ever faced, you know, I just don't care. You know, when we go in there, we're going to war, man. He's a better wrestler. You know, you get two good wrestlers in there, it's gonna end up, you know, striking anyways. I know he's training down there with uh, Kane Velasquez at American Kickboxing Academy, but you know that it it don't matter. Like people's names, they they get blown out of proportion, man. It's just it's it, it it's more of a head game than it is a. A talent, you know what I mean? Like, if you prepare yourself well, then you'll be in there going. You you go in there confident, knowing that you know wherever it goes, you're you're comfortable. Of you know, course, Ryan. Uh, you know, obviously he has the the great wrestling, but he is still very raw. He's still early on his in his career, so yep. you know there are holes in his striking and his ground game. Um, you know, you you're a knockout puncher, but you showcase those submission skills last fight. You know, are, are you planning? Um, you know, to keep this as a striking fight. Or are you looking, you know, expecting the takedowns, and then looking to to work that ground skills, or you know, does does it even really matter to you? I know I know he's gonna come in shooting. You know what I mean? I think he thinks because he's six six, walks around at two ninety, that uh, he's gonna come <laughs> and try and manhandle me. But you know, it it ain't no no new thing to me. Everybody I've ever fought or wrestled throughout my career has always been bigger, supposedly stronger than me. So you know, it's all good. <laughs> you know, Ron, I I've been in the back with you. You know, when you're getting ready to, to go out into the cage and, you know, I, I felt your power, you know, in, in terms of you just getting ready, getting hyped up and, you know, getting just just ready to fight. 
is this a situation where you're going to feel a little bit out, out of your element considering the shows that you've done in the past going into a situation like Pro Elite? The out of the element for me it would be like not worrying about ticket sales or not having to go greet my family before I go out there to, you know, fight or thanking everybody for showing up, for coming. You know, it's just now it's just time to go out there and handle business, man. You know, I don't I don't got nothing to worry about. I just got to worry about getting in that cage and, and proving why, you know, I'm at, a, at another level than what I was. You know, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I'm more excited than anything. You know, I kind of took this fight on short notice. I had four weeks to, to kind of train for it. So, you know, a lot of camp would have been better, would have, could have, should have, whatever. You know, I'm ready to get it no matter what, man. For sure. Ryan, I talked to you uh, before one of your fights uh, a few months back. And, you know, you discussed how you, you kind of travel around to a couple different gyms, you know, just to yeah. get uh, some different looks from some bigger guys. You know, tell us about your training situation. Obviously, you train at Infinite MMA, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, s- some, some smaller guys there. So, you know, how's your training been going the last couple months? Actually, it's been, like, lots of drills. I've been doing lots of drills with my striking coach, Jacob Sanchez, as far as my boxing goes. I, I've been doing a lot of uh, orthodox drills because I'm a southpaw, so I've been I'm converting back and forth so I can get comfortable. Um, as far as uh, jujitsu, I've been uh, at Infinite. They actually got a guy there. Uh, his name's Luke Miles. He's six foot seven, close to four hundred pounds. That they just put on what? top of me and they have me move around. So, <laughs> you know, that's it's getting good for me as far as being able to control a bigger, heavier, you know, guy that's on top of me trying to, you know, get out, trying to know when and when not to be explosive. Um, sparring, uh, I haven't really got to go to too, too many other gyms sparring. I was supposed to hook up with Todd Duffy this week uh, and get something going with him because uh, he just got into town. Uh, this last week I was down at James McSweeney's gym, you know, getting some work in with him. That guy's legit, man. His stand-up is sick. Yeah, he's got great kickboxing. Yeah, his, so- uh, he's one of the most unorthodox dudes like anybody will ever fight. Like, I feel sorry anybody that just has to kickbox with that dude. <laughs> and, his, and his ground game is slick, too. Like, like he's evolving, and it's, it's just crazy, man. Like, that, like it, within the next couple years, that, that dude, like, he'll be a world champ guaranteed in the MMA community. So is, is it safe to say that we're going to see some nice leg kicks from you out of this camp then with you going know, to Sledgehammer? I've, uh, I've been working, you know, a lot of kicks, a lot of punches. I really didn't know who I was going to fight until last week because according to uh, Rich Cho at Pro Elite, the, the first tournament that they did, it was like a draw out of the hat at weigh-in. And I know my manager, Ricky, pushed and pushed to try and get something solidified as far as um, an opponent so we can kind of put a game plan together or whatnot. And uh, that, that night I was talking with Ricky, and I go, you know what, it's going to end up being me and, and Mark Ellis. I guarantee it. they're going to put you know us two together and then, we're just going to have to bang out and see who it is. And he's like, why would you think that? Or what makes you think that? I go, because, you know, he's the one that they're anchoring around and I'm the one going in there, you know, with the most fights. And he was like, so what do you think? I go, well, what Mark Ellis don't know won't hurt him. I go, because he doesn't know nothing about what I wrestled or whatnot. You know what I mean? So regardless of wherever it goes, you know, I'm going to be comfortable. I know he's going to come in looking for a takedown and I'm going to have to, you know, punish him every time he comes in make him not want to shoot anymore. Does that add any extra motivation or kind of get you fired up knowing that, you know, that's the guy they expect to win or, you know, in your opinion, they think he's going to win um, and they're, they're matching him up against you, so obviously they're, you know, favoring him over you. Does that add any extra motivation for you? I got motivated as soon as you're like, you're, you're fine in Illinois. I'm like, we're <laughs> out of state, no tickets, no 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 promoters <laughs> being like, have you got your ticket? Have you sold tickets? Do you need more? Do you need more? That, that That's a big weight right there. You know, just worrying about ticket sales. Now, Rick, uh, Ricky came up to me he's like, "Yeah, dude, we got a, an offer from Pro Elite. They want you in this tournament." I'm like, "Word, when is it?" He's like right. November fifth. Does that give you enough time? I'm like, "Well, regardless if it does or doesn't, it's gonna have to be." You know what I mean? So we kind of tapered it up. I'm not doing nothing more stressful than what I would normally do to prepare for a fight. You know, just so I don't put my body in shock. I'm gonna be ready regardless when fight time comes. Uh, I know. Uh, Training at elevation and dropping down, you know, to below sea level in Illinois is going to have a big factor as far as my my conditioning goes. Just uh, I'm I'm looking forward to everything, man. It's crazy. Now we want you to have all the success in the world, you know, Ryan. You're from Colorado, you know. You have the back, you know. Your story is is something that a lot of people can relate to. 
do you think, and, and again, it may be or it may not be, but do you think that this is the last time that maybe Colorado Fight fans have a chance to see you at some of the local shows? No way, man. I still got one more fight contra- contracted with Ring of Fire, so I'll be back soon, like, regardless of anything that happens, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Now, uh, And uh, I, I love Colorado. I like fighting here, man. You know, it's the crowd, the... Colorado's got such a tough group of, of fighters coming out right now. People don't understand that. Like, I talked to guys down in Florida. I talked to guys down in uh, in Texas, New Mexico, California. Like, you know, I got people all over, and, and, like, they're all wanting to come fight on Colorado shows. They're saying that, you know, the shows out there, they ain't, work, they ain't, they ain't doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, normally when whenever, you know, a promoter flies some dude in from out of town, you see the Colorado boy whooping their ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Just the the competition level here in Colorado is just crazy. Like with wrestling, too, you go to a, a state championship, you know, finals finals night wrestling down at the Pepsi Center. It's 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 packed, dude. Sixteen thousand five hundred people fill the seats. Yeah, the state championships the, are awesome here. Yeah, just to watch the finals and wrestling, and it it's the same feeling, you know, when you go, you know, in front for your first MMA amateur debut or whatnot. It might be a little venue, but it's packed. People yawn, and it's crazy, man. Like just. I love Colorado fighting, man. You hear that? The 303 <laughs> brings it. Whether yeah, it's wrestling, dude, track and field, or ping pong, Colorado, dude, I got, Colorado got I have it. serious ping pong skills. Get out of here. We're talking Not about a... Ryan Martinez right now. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, I wanted to uh, you know, talk to you. you. You mentioned you know you had a little bit of trouble back in the day, and um, you know, now, now you've had a lot of success in MMA. Talk to us about how MMA has affected your life and, you know, uh, possibly been a, a positive influence on you just uh like the amount of commitment it takes if you can commit yourself to to training to fight you know to any fight uh you know that that's a big step and and you know me being in trouble is just being a knucklehead and and of course i could have gone to the same pattern i did when i got when i got out of prison but i just i felt if mma would have been around back before and before any of you know, any of the bull that I got into happened. I, you know, I would have been training back then. I mean, jujitsu wasn't even around. You know, back. I mean, the UFC's one too. You know, they 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 were showing them on on pay per view, but nobody had really got into jujitsu. Right. And uh, I I feel that if it would have been around back before I started running amok, and yeah, you know, I, I might be a world champion right now, man. You know what I mean? It's just, well, I have no uh, I have no doubt you'll get that title eventually. Yeah. yeah, eventually, that's what I'm working to, you know, baby steps, but I'm trying to trying to take it, you know, as it comes. Well, you're, you're taking long, strided baby steps, Ryan, and, <laughs> and the Colorado MMA fight scene and just Colorado as a whole, I mean, forget your past, you know, obviously you're moving forward and, and you're a great guy. There, there's big, th- big things ahead for you. So just right now, Ryan, again, we appreciate your time, buddy, but is there anybody you want to thank, sponsors, family? Yeah, I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank uh, my, my woman, Brittany Bratton. I'd like to thank... Uh, you know, my dad and my, my family for always supporting me. I'd like to thank some sponsors. I'd like to thank Sergio Martinez at Colorado. I'd like to thank Future Legend. I'd like to thank Underground Clown, Hostility, Training Mask, Venom Management, 970 Fighter, Knock em Out, One Stop Fitness, Infinite MMA, and Pro Elite. All right, Ryan. Well, good luck, bro. We'll be pulling for you. And as always, thank you for your time, sir. Right on, man. Thanks, Ryan. Take care. Man, I'm excited about Ryan. He's an absolutely fantastic fighter. He's exciting to watch as a heavyweight. But you are tuned in to the MMA Meltdown Show here on Mile High Sports. We made sure Bork got his cup. We are Mile High Sports. Drink of the UFC. Available at your local King Supers, Loaf and Jug, Jenny's Market, Circle K convenience stores, and 7 Eleven. American Ground and Pound is what the red, white, and blue is all about. This Colorado born fight gear company provides you with only the best in quality and value. Find our hats, hoodies, and tees for men, women, and youth at AmericanGroundandPound.com or at most Colorado based MMA events. Show your pride in your country and the world's fastest growing sport, MMA. Come join the American Ground and Pound Nation on Facebook by searching for American Ground and Pound. 
American ground and pound. Hell yeah, I'm an American. Studio Vienna at Shred and New Look offers a full-service salon including customized sports injury massage treatments, full-service skin care treatments including waxing, makeup, and both hair and nail care. We offer services for both men and women and all our services are fully customizable. We are located at 6050 West 92nd Avenue in Westminster, Colorado or you can call us at 303 303- 424-6461 for more information. Right now, we are offering three one-hour massage sessions, normally 195, now only 135. And you will get a free month of training at 303 Training Center, home of Dwayne Ludwig, with any purchase of $65 and more from Studio Vienna at Shred A New Look. Call us now, 303-424-6461. Lift, kickbox, swim, and save at the brand new Bally Sport Club in Aurora, opening this December. Join before the club opens and save big with our founding member rates. Hurry into the existing Bally Total Fitness at 13801 East Exposition Avenue in Aurora to join the new Bally Sport and save big today. Restrictions apply. Hurry. Offer ends 11-30-2011. Lift, kickbox, swim, and save at the brand new Bally Sport Club in Aurora, opening this December. When looking for the best quality MMJ medicine, look no further than VIP Cannabis, where we carry over 40 strains of top-shelf medicine, the best in Colorado. We have the most knowledgeable and professional sales staff in the business, and we're also going to help you get your license and your renewal. So come on down to be treated like a VIP at VIP Cannabis, where you can pick up your free meds at the corner of Alameda and Federal or 2527 Federal Boulevard at our new location, VIP Cannabis. The puck stops here. That's right. It's hockey time in Mile High Sports. The October issue of Mile High Sports breaks down the game on ice in every way imaginable. Our writers check in on Air Force, DU, and Colorado College. Plus, we'll look at the Colorado Eagles who are playing in a new league. And don't worry, Mile High Sports didn't forget about the abs. Our experts break down the new and improved avalanche. And photographer Don Cudney provides a -a one-of-a-kind portrait series of your favorite players. It's all in the hockey issue. Look for Semyon Varlamov on the cover or check us out at milehighsports.com. Blaze and Tattoos. Blaze specializes in custom artwork and designs. Can't find the image you need for your tattoo? He does custom tattoo flash, custom paintings, custom logos, posters, and finished artwork for sale. This guy does tattoos too. He has new school designs. He's professional and licensed. He also does cover-ups and touch-ups. He customizes everything. His portfolio is at facebook.com slash kingblaze the first. Blaze and Apparel, coming soon. We watched Jackson and Costa sack Namath. 1510 93.7. We are Mile High Sports. Take off for kickoff with Corona and Corona Light. Go to milehighsports.com and you can win a getaway to a pro or college football game anywhere in the U.S. Sign up at one of the great local bars listed while you watch your favorite team this season and you could be off to see a game of your choice live. Just go to milehighsports.com and click on the link to Corona and Corona Light. Take off for kickoff this season with Corona and Corona Light. No purchase necessary. Open to Colorado residents 21 years of age or older at time of entry. Sweepstakes good through 9-30-11. Void what prohibited. Complete details and official rules at coronadestinationfootball.com slash throw. 